All right, so we're finally getting around to doing this actuator. Um, <clears throat> pardon the mess. But anyway, this is actually what the new one looks like. This is what it looks like when you get it out. And it's actually located on the driver's side. In here, I'm going to get the flashlight pointed on it. Let's see if I can get you in here. It'll crawl up under the dash. It's that thing right there. A connector and... I don't know if there's two or three screws on it. A lot of times uh, it's got four holes, four mounting holes, but usually they don't use all four for whatever reason. I guess make it easier for us to get them in and out. But I'll, uh, you can see one screw right there above my finger. But I'll get this out, I'll, uh, and I'll show which locations have the screws and let you know how much of a pain the insert whatever word you want it to be a pain in. And yeah. I did min uh, forget to mention that uh, to get to it, you do have to pull this cover off this little kick bolster panel thing. Uh, there's supposed to be, let's see here, screw there, 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 and there. Uh, this one, mine had apparently been taken off before. It was missing this screw. This little, uh, it's got to, they've always used these little like clippy, clip nut things lock onto the dash. The dash is actually broken where that one was supposed to be. And then on this one it was missing the screw and it's missing the little clip nut thing I think too. Maybe not. No, it's still on there. It's just missing the screw. But you do have to pull that off. You pull those screws out and then you get to the, the connector for the light. And um, yeah. I did get, them out, get it out. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is the old one. I ended up using to get it out as a I've got this little Sunex kit. It's got all different kinds of bits and stuff in it. I ended up using the little ratchet, the extender, and a, they're Phillips number ones. So I'm the Phillips number one. Uh, for the bottom screw, for the bottom, there's only two screws in it. For the bottom screw, uh, I did not use the extender because there's no room. And then on the top screw, I did use the extender to get it loose. And then there's also a little screw that goes in the, one of these, I don't know which one. And it holds the wire that actually plugs into it. it holds the wire so it makes a nice little loop and whatever, yeah. Goes in one of those, one of those four, one of these four, I don't know which one, but you'll see it when you get it apart. And that's also a Phillips number one. And uh, that one was pretty loose on mine, so I just did that one by hand with, I got it started with just a bit, and then I just did it with my fingers just by hand. Um, so I'll go ahead and get this one thrown in there. I also went ahead and put a little bit of silicone grease, like dielectric grease, on the uh, end of this to help it move back and forth so it doesn't get in any binds. It does have some, the factory does lube them with some kind of lithium, look, I think it's some kind of lithium grease. That stuff over time does get kind of cakey. So I went ahead and put some fresh uh, silicone grease on there. So it should keep your uh, moving nice and smooth for a while. Probably for the life of this piece of crap actuator, anyway. But I got it in. No more wait, 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 noises, so that's good. Uh, the other one did still work. It just made awful noises, and the uh, computer didn't read it working. So I'm gonna go ahead and flush the heater core while while the engine's cool. Um, I went ahead. I didn't put the the bolster panel back in there because I uh, have a rattle. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear this, but there's like listen for this metal noise. Yeah. There's some like metal or something in there. So I'm gonna tear into the dash and try and fix that because that's freaking annoying. Yeah, I got the actuator in there. It wasn't too bad. The worst part is getting the uh, little screw that holds that wire in there. That's the hardest part. The two screws that actually hold the actuator on are easy. That one that holds the wire in, it's kind of, well for me, it's kind of hard to get to. But, overall not near as difficult as, as I thought it was going to be. Alright, just an update. Just tested the heater after replacing the actuator. The old actuator did move, but since the computer didn't know exactly where it was because the, the contacts inside of the, the actuator were bad, it the heat still didn't work, even though it actuated. So... I replaced the actuator and now the heat works. So I guess this is just like a secondary update kind of thing. But even if your actuator works, 
because to keep your heat from working.